Yes, you are locked into Urban Smash It TV. I have the lovely, beautiful Fleur with me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm always so like, when every time I get all these like gorgeous girls coming, and I'm always like looking at myself like, oh, <laughs> let's try not to get sweaty too oh much. Gosh. These gorgeous girls sitting next to me. <laughs> Look amazing! Thank you. I love the hair. I like love your hair. I was just gonna touch a little bit. It's lovely. Thank it's you. Lovely. Sorry. I did the same thing to this guy called Afro Boy. I was just like touching up his hair. And he's just like, what are you doing? Happens all the time. It's okay. Fine. Yeah. So um, we've got a singer songwriter with us. So amazed. I know you're doing so much mm. at the moment, and you've got such a busy schedule. So thank you for taking this time. No, you're welcome. Uh, for being with us today. Uh, okay, let's start off with the icebreaker. Uh, we had a, an icebreaker that was picked up by our Urban Smash fans, mm. and they wanted to ask you what it was your most embarrassing moment or what has been your most embarrassing moment? There's been a few. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. There's been a few. Uh, but one I think that was probably the most embarrassing was uh, one morning when I was going to school. This yeah. was like back in the day, me and my little sister. And we were like running late for school. And it was a cold winter's day. And I remember getting ready and I put on like my nice little light tights on. Yeah. And then my mum came in and she was like, hey. She was like, it's cold, put on your woolen tights. I was like, no man, it's not cold, it's not, they don't look cold. She was like, I'm telling you, put on your woolen tights. I was like, no, 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 I didn't listen. Kept my light ones on, yeah. I was like, I've got to be cool, you know, yeah, yeah, cool. So then we ended up uh, running up the road because we were so late, got to like the main high street and my sister went to guitar lessons after school. So I'm there carrying her guitar, running up the road, like literally like racing up the road. And I'm going to my sister, come on, come on. Running, running, running. And then I just took the biggest drop Oh, I learned that part. Literally just fell <laughs> forward. And I was just on the floor and I was like, and then you know, you just start to feel your knees start to sting. And I was like, oh man, I just got up, looked at my knee and it was just bleeding. Oh, and it, no. all my tights were just scratched up. The most embarrassing part was not only that, but having to go back home and show my mum my tights. And she's like, eh, what did I tell yeah. you? What did I tell you? <laughs> Had to go back, change them, put the wooden ones on. Oh, it was so, so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. I know. I think everyone can relate to you, those ones. <laughs> Dropping on your face. Oh my god. Everything. And then going back to your mum, your mum was like, yes, I told you. High street as well. You know Ooh. people have seen you. Yeah. No. Uh, so. It's one of them ones where you have to just kind of brush it off in this. Exactly. You can't even style it out though. You can't. You can't you start those ones out. <laughs> Thank you for telling us your most embarrassing moment. Very hilarious. Yeah. Okay, so music industry. How did it all start? How did you all get into it? Well, I've always been singing like, from mm -hmm. a young age and I started going to like after school clubs and mm -hmm. I was always singing and writing songs and performing like in my local area. And then I was working in a cocktail bar and uh, this guy just came up to me out of nowhere and my manager at the club was like, you need to sing to this man, he's a manager, like you oh, need to sing to him and just okay. put me on the spot. And I was like, uh, okay, so I just sung to him and then he was like, oh my God, yeah. He was like, you're amazing, I'm gonna contact you. And I was just like, yeah, whatever, people say mm -hmm. that all the time. A week later, he called me up and then that was it. And ever since then, he's like got me, you know, more connections and Literally. I've just been networking loads and... Amazing! Yeah. You must be thanking that guy that told you to go and sing you to him. I mean? It's fate, it's fate. Bro. Oh, amazing. And it's just been kind of snowballing since then. Because exactly. you've just been doing, I know you've been doing so much and it's so hard to get into this music industry oh, at the yeah, moment. It's like, hard. it's like you just don't have to, like, if you have a talent, it's not enough anymore, is no, it? No. I mean, it's so hard. There's so many people that can sing and it's just kind of being there at the right place at the right time knowing the right people, but I mean, it's amazing you're doing it at the moment and it seems like it's going on quite well. Yeah, 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 I've been busy. I can't complain, I'm doing what I love to do. Yeah, and so. I know you were performing at the, or you have performed at the Intego O2. Yes. How was that? I mean. Oh yeah, that was wicked. I got asked to perform for um, Miss Face of Africa, mm -hmm. the beauty pageant. Yeah. So that was really good. Like my mum was from Ghana, yeah. so you know. Oh, like, for the Ghanaian. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I was just like, oh, this is so nice. Mm -hmm. I've been asked to do it. And um, yeah, I just got given the chance to perform. Mm -hmm. I was with my guitarist and we did oh. an acoustic set. And Eddie Caddy was there presenting. Yeah, yeah. It was hilarious. I was gonna ask you about Eddie Caddy. Yeah, I'm sure he's so funny. <laughs> it was so good to meet him mm. because I've seen him around. Like, yeah, a few different things, but it was really nice to meet him. I was literally laughing the whole time. Oh my god! Couldn't stop laughing. No, but it was a really good experience. I mean, was how was it? Were you nervous when you were when you like found that you had to perform at the Indigo too? Because I mean, it's just. I mean, you got all the big names like Brandy was there. I think Rihanna was there. All the big names are there. I mean, how was it? Were you a bit like, um? Oh, no, bit, like, yeah. It didn't really hit me until I got there for my sound check on the day. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was just like, right, I'm actually in the go-to right now. Like, okay. 
okay. I guess you're like, <laughs> yeah, the poster, I, really, I saw your poster, you had like Fleur featuring Fleur. I know. I mean, it's just like. Yeah, it was a lot of pressure, but. <laughs> no, but it was good. I enjoyed it. It was fun. So, we've got your, um, your music at the moment. Like, for those who kind of just being introduced to you, what would you say kind of your musical sound is? How would you describe it? I think it's just, it's got like an urban base to it. So mm -hmm. it's urban inspired, mm -hmm. but I'd say it's got a few twists mm -hmm. to it as well. Yeah. Like I don't really like to put myself in one lane. Like, mm -hmm. I love so many different types of music. Like yeah. if you see my playlist, it's, it's ridiculous. It ranges from so many different mm -hmm. kinds of genres. So I've been inspired by a lot of different things. So. I want to just experiment, you know, get myself out there. I'm very versatile. I think I can do a lot mm. of different things. So it would just be, you know, different twists, but yeah. with the Fleur stamp there. Yeah, I like it. Is there any, uh, like, I know that, like, obviously there's loads of people that you would want to work with, but is there anyone that you particularly would be like, yes, must work with them. This is this is the person I'm, I need to collab with. <laughs> there's so many people, but like, a dream like vocal collaboration would be like Alicia Keys. Oh yeah. 100%, yeah, like that would be amazing. And then to write with, I'd love to write with Emily Sandé. Oh yeah, of course. Because yeah. I love her album and her writing yeah. skills are just mm -hmm. ooh, too much. Production, so maybe yeah. Pharrell, I think. Oh gosh, yeah. Have you noticed, like, Pharrell yeah. was like missing for the time, and then all of a sudden he comes out. Just comes back. He's everywhere. He's in blurred lines. He's going, you know, get lucky. I'm just like, this guy. He's on fire. He's on fire. And he looks 19 still. Like, it's ridiculous. That, he doesn't age. He's one of them. <laughs> You know the black don't crack. He's one of them that don't age. He doesn't age. Him and Stacey Dash, both of them. I know. They, don't age. Oh, they look good. <laughs> it's good. I hope I'm like that when I'm exactly. We need there. to be looking. Like <laughs> <laughs> need to be looking like that. I need to ask him if I'm forever to meet him. Um, okay, so we've got those two that you would um, love to work with, or yeah. those three mm -hmm. even. And um, who? What advice would you give to? people at the moment trying to get into the music industry because there's so many ways that we go reality TV or you have to just keep trying trying is there any particular advice you could give to anyone I think the most important thing is to believe in yourself mm -hmm. because for a long time I was always doing it and people were telling me oh you should go for it Blair. Yeah. like you know you're amazing and deep inside I was kind of like oh really am I like you know I used to yeah. look up to like Beyonce and mm -hmm. people like that and think nah like, I don't think I could ever do yeah. that and then it was only when I actually started to believe in myself and have the confidence mm -hmm. that a lot of things started coming to me, a lot of doors started to open. Mm -hmm. And you know, it shows, it shows as soon as you walk into a room yeah. and you're confident about what you're doing, that's mm -hmm. when other people are gonna believe in you. No one else is going to unless you don't believe in yourself. Most definitely, most so, definitely. Yeah, that's yeah. the most important thing. Amazing. And what are you working on at the moment? What What is happening with Fleur at the moment? Yes, well, I've just finished doing all the festivals and the mm -hmm. student union mm -hmm. tour. So I'm in the studio now, right. so, working hard. Mm -hmm. I wanna release some of my free music before the end of the yeah, year. Yeah. So a little EP mm -hmm. is on the way, people. Yeah, and you're yes. still doing gig gigging around and stuff like that? Yes, exactly. Yeah. But mostly in the studio at the mostly, moment. Mostly, yeah, just locking myself away. Basically. Do you have any uh, plans for bringing out music video anytime soon? Probably, you know. Mm. I think well, along with the EP, I think I might select one or two and do like mm. a little video. Yeah, yes, remember me. Yeah. Don't yeah. forget me. Little cameo. Cameo like, in there. Through. Just like, even if I'm just like walking through, <laughs> thumbs up like, in the background, I don't mind. I'll do anything. I'll do anything. I'm just trying to put myself out there. Oh my <laughs> but thank you so much for coming. Um, You're welcome. Before we leave you, we have to do this quick uh, love lick or leave game. Okay. Love lick. Lick. If you always do that, like what? Lick. lick. So it's like a kiss, miss, or avoid, right? It's, instead of a kiss, it's a, it's a lick. Wow. It's a nice, you know. Don't usually go around licking people. Well, you know. Or do you? We're not here to judge, Flo. <laughs> We're not here to judge, so... Oh that's gosh. what you do. <laughs> okay, so, love, lick or leave. Okay. Your three celebrities are... Mm -hmm. Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. Naughty Boy. Mm -hmm. Or Kanye West. Who would you love? Who would you lick? And who would you leave? Lick. God, that lick. That's just like, <laughs> throw me up. <laughs> well, I think... Leave, I'd have to leave Jay Z alone. Oh, Jay Z. Because, you know, Beyonce is all up with that. So don't I don't want to like She's like, she's feisty. Nah. She'll scratch her out. Be up <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Queen Bee, that's mm -hmm. your man. Uh, love, I think Kanye then. Love yeah. Kanye. Love Kanye. Yeah. Yeah. Don't really care about Kim. He's so. cool. Like, yeah, he's, he's, he can do for now. Uh, and I have to lick Naughty Boy then, I guess. If you, yeah, if you fancy cool. a lick from me, <laughs> then yeah, it have to be him. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like the boy, he's fine, he's fine. I'm yeah, sure he is. Yeah. He's very tasty, I'm sure he is tasty. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> um, oh, wow. 
too. So before you leave, can you tell us where or tell the viewers where they can find you on Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff, fan pages and stuff like that? Yes, well, you can find more about me on my website, which is www.flirtofficial.com. Yeah, and yes. you can get to everything from there. From there, find your Twitter and everything. Stalk her from there, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you so much. I have been Emma Coffo, and this has been the lovely flirt with us on Urban Smash. Make sure you catch her on the Urban Smash jam session as well. You've been watching Urban Smash TV. Catch yeah. you soon. Hi. Yes, you're watching Urban Smash TV with your girl, Emerald Huffo. I've got the great pleasure with Amanda on the wall, as they're exclusively known as. I've got Percy with me, Javan and Dee. Yeah. Hi, guys. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, looking very dapper, very nice. <laughs> uh, like you. You've got this